Annihilation of Caste, Appendices by Baba Sahib Ambedkar Appendix 2 8 Why does the Mahatma cling to the theory of everyone following his or her ancestral calling? He gives his reasons nowhere, but there are and must be some reason, although he does not care to avow it. Years ago, writing on caste versus class in his young India, he urged that class is the caste system was better than class system on the ground that caste was the best possible adjustment of social stability. If that be the reason why the Mahatma clings to the theory of everyone following his or her ancestral calling, then he is clinging to a false view of social life. Everybody wants social stability and some adjustment must be made in the relationship between individuals and classes in order that stability may be had. But two things I am sure nobody wants. One thing nobody wants is static relationship, something that is unalterable, something that is fixed for all times. Stability is wanted but not at the cost of change when change is imperative. Second thing nobody wants is mere adjustment. Adjustment is wanted but not at the sacrifice of social justice. Can it be said that the adjustment of social relationship on the basis of caste, that is on the basis of each to his hereditary calling, avoids these two evils? I am convinced that it does not. Far from being the best possible adjustment, I have no doubt that it is of the worst possible kind inasmuch as it defends against both the canons of social adjustment, namely fluidity and equity. The end.